morning from morning five, I believe, in Malaysia. Um, this is a very Southeast Asian thing. Our, actually, our hotel is right here. Uh, and this is the diner we ate tandoori at in the second video. But this is a very Southeast Asia specific thing. All of these mopeds, motorbikes, scooters, whatever you want to call them. There are probably 300 underneath. And then right here is the train station. So there's like 300 underneath this train station. Welcome to Southeast Asia, friends and family. So now we are on the MRT headed to Sri Rampai to go to uh, Zoo Negara, Malaysia. So these are what the National Zoo of Malaysia wristbands look like. And yes, we got a foreigner wristband. How fun. We've arrived at the National Zoo of Malaysia and there's no one here today. So this looks promising. We're going to ex be able to experience the National Zoo without anybody impeding us. So here we go. It's a lemur and he's asleep. I don't know what these animals are. But he eats. Oh, he missed. Oh, wow. Hello friends. Oh. I want to pet it. Hold up a minute, what the heck is that? What? It's a horse. There's a horse. Just chilling by the monkeys with the monkeys. Hi, Hi monkeys. Oh. Hello. Like, eh, not today. Hi. It's oh, an hello. otter. He's so cute. An Asian otter. Hi. They're water snakes. Yeah, it sounds bad. These fish are huge, and there's many fish in, the, in this water. These fish are gigantic. Oh my gosh, what are these? I'm not sure. These fish are huge. They're larger than me. Like I said, we're like the only ones here. We've walked through this pretty much entire aquarium unaccompanied and alone. So maybe today's just an off day for everyone. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the fact that we decided to come to the aquarium. Look at this amazingly orange fish. Maybe it's the... the, the uh, English. Maybe it's because we decided to come to the museum on a Monday is the reason why it's so dead. Who knows? Scratch that. We're not at a museum. We're at a zoo. I don't know why I keep saying museum. Sorry, fam. They do have a, peng they do have a penguin exhibit, but there's a hole inside of it and it's closed currently. Um, okay then. That's all I have to say. So this is supposed to be a hippo exhibit and there's one right there. Just chilling in the water. It looks like a rock. We thought it was a rock. Oh gosh, these crocodiles are so, so scary. Big and scary. So this is a Malaysian sun bear. Well, the booty of a Malaysian sun bear. And that clicking sound that you hear is the <laughs> electric fence. Hello, Malaysian sun bear. There's another one back in there. Hello, Malaysian sun bear. He's minding his own business, doing his own thing. What is he gonna do? Where are they going to go? Oh, he's so sweaty. Update, they turned around. Hello. It's 
So this is a capybara exhibit. Um, oh, that sounds strange. They're all chilling over there in the shade. Hey fam, it's a barking deer. Oh, what is that? And some type of pig? Question mark? Update, that animal was a Malaysian taipair. Malayan taipair. These animals are a Nyala. Nyala? Not sure. But there's a baby! Look at how cute. Hey fam, look, it's a wallaby. Hi wallaby. Hello. It's not having any other crap today, it's too hot. I'm not sure what animal this is, but there's a baby. Porcupine. Oh, it's a porcupine. Hello, baby porcupine. So we found a bunch of bats. This is creepy. Look at all these deer, question mark. Large herd of them here. Capybaras. They're huge. I believe these are anokli cattle and the elephant. There's one here, there's another one over there, but you can't see him from this angle due to the one of the pillars blocking him or them. Yeah, elephant. This elephant at least, oh, it's rocking back and forth. And I believe that's a sign of distress in elephant. Um, and it was chewing on his trunk. Um, this zoo makes me feel really uneasy right now. Okay fam, we found the giraffes. And the zebras. And there's also ostriches in this exhibit as well. As all the other animals. They seem a little bit more happy. That's a chainsaw. so tall. Look at these rhinos though. There's so many. There's two. This exhibit is not in use anymore and is starting to be overgrown with weeds and leaves and just natural foliage and a cup. But yeah. Nagara National Zoo, I had high hopes for you. Zoo Nagara. Um, this is a sad experience, but I'm gonna keep my hopes up. There's graffiti on these camels. Dromedary camels, I believe. That's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I have the giant panda exhibit and they sleep. They sleep a lot. Okay, so we've been at the National Zoo for maybe an hour and a half and um, we're already leaving because we it, the zoo made us sad uh, with the animal conditions. I don't know if, if it's worth like with the funding issue here, but we walked to a part of the zoo and everything was closed down. There was no exhibits. It was all overgrown with weeds and stuff. So here's to a better experience for the rest of the day. There's a monkey in the tree somewhere. Oh, there he is. I don't know. I can't see with the camera, but hopefully you guys can see him climbing around in the tree. Sorry if I'm not getting this shot. There's just monkeys just chilling at the zoo here, roaming free. Hello, free roaming monkeys. Hello, free roaming monkeys. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. Hi. How are you? Hi. Don't wait back. They're all up in the trees here. Oops. They grunted at me. Hi. Oh, someone just pulled that one out of the tree. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, kill him. That baby. Look at that baby. Any of them. This one's following us. 
trying to walk in peace and he's following us. Excuse me, this exhibit is labeled Wallaby. What are you doing here? Didn't Australia lose a war to you guys? You're not a wallaby. Imposter. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry I said that. Please don't hurt me. Some more giraffes. Hello, giraffe. Hello. Hello. Two here. And then there's a baby one. Oh, there's a baby one in there. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> no? Okay, sorry. So, we were at the Zoo Negrata in Malaysia for about an hour and 45 minutes, and I don't know what we're going to do now, but we're going to find out something to do. So, we're on our journey back to Sri Lampai Station, and the taxi driver just tried to scam us, but we said no. It was 8 ringgit to come here, but the guy told us it would be 30 ringgit to go back for some reason, and we said no, sorry, we'll just walk back. I mean, it's far, but we'll figure out something. ate dinner um, and had a very interesting experience. We were making our way here to go get food and this local guy just stopped us like, oh, where are you going? And we're like, we're going to a restaurant, we're hungry. He's like, oh, I'll take you to this one, this one. And we're like, when we're like, we're kind of nervous first off. And then we're like, okay. Oh, fun fact, uh, I have the camera facing the wrong way. This is a Buddhist temple, I believe. Some type of temple and we bought uh, this beautiful necklace and there's one on the back of my bag. Uh, but uh, sorry, I have the camera facing the wrong way. And um, so we're just like, oh hey, he's like, well, we're taking this restaurant. I'm like, okay, that's fine. People in Malaysia do that all the time. They're like, oh, come to my restaurant. I'll take you there. And like, they're just very helpful and they're inclusion. Very nice. very nice. Inclusion, inclusive of us foreigners and stuff. And the restaurant was actually really good. We did enjoy it. Um, the drink was really sweet. It was water, but it was really sweet water. And then the rice, the fried rice we got was actually really salty. Kind of reminded of like American rice. But the guy was an interesting character. He tried Very to, interesting. yeah, he tried to keep getting us to go to Banang Island and then um, Malacca. His, his, gran his grandparents are from Malacca and stuff. And then he's like, oh, where are you from? And it's like, oh, we're residents of Korea, but uh, we we're from the United States. He's like, oh, the United States, I love Donald Trump. And just like started praising Donald Trump and, and stuff. And the president of the Philippines. Yes, and the president of the Philippines, who, uh, Duterte, which who has openly praised Hitler. Um, yep. So and he, then he decided he liked Putin too. Yeah. And then he's just like, oh, what are you guys studying? And it's like, oh, we're studying to become English teachers. We moved to Korea to learn how to teach English, which is, I admit, it's a funny, <laughs> funny thing to say. And he's just like, become an entrepreneur. He's like, open up a school. Like we just brought, we just want to eat our food in peace. Thank you. Um, he, he finally, no thanks. He finally let us go. Um, yeah, there's a giant bug. Anyway, he finally let us go and left us he in peace. He sat with us basically our entire meal. Yeah. So we told him fake names. Because, yeah. He's like, yeah. "What's your name?" And I said Caleb, and she said Sophie, which is funny because I was going to say her name was Sophia, but evidently great minds think alike. So yeah, that guy was an interesting character. Um, kind of makes me not want to talk to, anybody talk to Malaysian people. Um, and then he started, He, I told him I studied Chinese, and then he asked me in Chinese, are you a Chinese person? And I said no. Look at the, what the weather's doing to my hair. I said no, my parents are white American. Do I look Chinese? And stuff, but interesting character. Um, hope to never run into him again.